Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia. If this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. So for those that are new here, me and my husband bought this 1950s mid-century modern house, um, 2019. And while we love the house, we love the location. The one thing that it is lacking is closet space. It's slim to, <laughs> slim to none. And so we decided, although I decided, we decided that we will both have our space. He has his men cave downstairs. I decided I wanted to have a big closet so we converted a guest room into what you see here today so i'm going to take you through every aspect of the cloth is the details on where i got it from every piece of clothing um well not every well every piece of clothing that i'm currently wearing in the season is here all of my pajamas <laughs> um loungewear undergarments all of that is in here and then if it's not in season it's packed up in the garage so everything is in here and so while it may look like a nice abundant space i really had to utilize every nook and cranny because like i said i have a lot of things and it all had to fit in this space so we're gonna go around the room I'm gonna take you guys with me show you where i bought it from why i bought it what dual purpose that it serves and i'll try to make sure that i'll link as much stuff as i can unless i tell you don't waste your money is trash in that case i'm not going to link it for you because i don't want you to get trash so let's just get started all right so we're just going to start like i said i'm going to go around the room um the light is better where i was so if the light gets a little bit darker a little bit dimmer as i go around the room just forgive me <laughs> you guys know i don't really have any like professional lights i'm going to invest in some this year i just don't know when and what so anyway we're going to start here this is the door to get to the outside and so we're going to start over here in this corner so over here, the main things that I have is this, ouch, ooh, is this lovely um, jewelry box. I got this jewelry box from Amazon, would definitely recommend. I love it because it has all different kind of compartments. So I have one compartment that just has my watches in here. Um, I have a compartment that has, it has a ring holder. So it has like all of my rings. But then I also have, I used to collect a lot of um, like different pens. So like I have like, a black lives matter pen and then i have a keep abortion safe and legal pen and i have books before boys pen you guys can't tell i love these pens oh and i have this feminist pen anyway so i have all the pens in here and then it also has an area down here for my rings it's just an overall good compartment for all of your jewelry um as far as this three set i got this from wayfair and i love it because while i have a lot of shoes the majority of my shoes are like mules and i might have like a couple of sneakers and so i needed somewhere to put most of the stuff now this is like a bunch of overflow these right here i got these from amazon because i was running out of space um I was running out of space when it came to the boots. I'm pretty sure once the boots go away because boots take up more space, but once the boots go away, I'll probably be able to put these back up on display. But I like this because it comes out like this and it has all of your shoes and I can fit about one, two, three, four, five, about five pair of shoes, four pair if you're trying to put them together in one. So I have one here and then it has this one. I don't know if you guys can see it. This one down here that houses, um, some of my sneakers, not all of them, but some of them down there. And then I like it because this drawer lets out and it houses a bunch of basically stuff that I need for like my nine to five. So I've got like pencils, notepads, um, and then up here, nothing special. The cameras that I don't use. I tried to use this camera before to take content. I don't, anyway. So that's what these cameras are here for this one is an older camera so it takes film i take this camera with me on vacation so that's what we have going on in this area all right nothing special is over here except for the fact that it's a desk and i absolutely love it love it i actually got this desk from amazon you'll notice as we go out through the clothes <laughs> tour that most of my uh things that are newer i got from amazon because while I like shopping at Wayfair and Overstock and all that kind of stuff, it was very hard to get furniture in the year of the 2020 uh, without there being like a three to six month wait. And I can't wait that long. So I went to where I normally get <laughs> to get stuff at, and that is Amazon. So I got these when I was looking for a desk. I kind of wanted something that enabled me to put 
like my books that are like my laptops here so like work laptop personal laptop calendar and then something to house the makeup that i do every day and i couldn't really find that so i found this at amazon and i told husband i was like hi um i'm gonna get this but i don't want you to put the drawers on both sides just a drawer on one side i can't do the building he did it and so there's no drawer here so the little thing that you're supposed to put in he didn't do any of that so i have this open space where i'm able to put like I said, most of everything over here and then all the makeup that I touch on a daily basis is sitting in here. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then I got this lovely vanity from Amazon as well. I like it because it has three different settings. And then if I felt like being in the mood, which I am most of the time, especially when I'm getting ready, is it has a Bluetooth function so I can play music. Most of the time I'm like watching a YouTube video while I'm putting on makeup. So that is what this is here. It was a, it is a little low. Um, it does sit a little low for me. So I have these makeup bins that are sitting right here that help lift it. And it just has a couple of extra stuff like my eyebrows stuff. Um, some more lippies because my lip stuff is like lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners and foundations. I have excess. So all that is just sitting up here. Um, what else? Also, I just realized that I have not cleaned this. So it's, it's dirty. Anyway, so we come in here. Let me get you guys. Maybe I just keep you guys farther away. So in here, like I said, we really had to maximize the space because while this seems like a big space, everything that I almost own <laughs> is in here. So first things first, all the way down here, we have this wicker bin that has my electronics in it. So when I mean electronics, I mean my chargers to both of my um, laptops, my wireless mouse, uh, my leftover like cell phone chargers. Um, I think that's it. So I like to house it in here because even though I plug them up over there, when I'm not using them, I just don't like the cords to be everywhere. And it's easy for me to just like throw it off and chunk it down here. So that's what's down there. My laundry is right here. And then right here is just a, what is it? One, two, three, six tier bin that I use to house my joggers. So these are joggers that some of them I can wear out, but most of them are just to like wear around the houses. So this is my lounger joggers um over here hangers these are all of my makeup brushes so what basically i can basically come out put them on here and now i'm ready to start my makeup don't ask why there's gum in here <laughs> i don't know um and then this is like all of the lotions and stuff that i use to get like shower and all the kind of stuff that i use to moisturize i like to keep that in here and then over there can you guys see that let me move it a little closer Yes. Um, so over here, it has like extra, if you guys can't tell, it's foundations up here and then lipsticks right here. So this, this is a one, two, three, four, five tier dresser. I like it because it's really narrow. If you guys can't tell, like, let me, let me do the women measuring. That, <laughs> that narrow. And it houses like basically, so on the second drawer, I have all of my undergarments third drawer houses of bras first fourth drawer houses like sports bras and in each of them i have these little things that i get from ikea because i like organization um and so it houses like sports bras just general like casual bras and then some socks here and so I, every drawer has those in there and then even down here this one's supposed to house like shapewear and stuff like that so i like them like i said Maybe, did I get these from Ikea or did I get these from Amazon? I'll find out where I got them from. They're either Ikea or Amazon. Now that I think about it, I want to say it's Amazon. Because Ikea didn't have enough individual compartments. So I want to say I trashed the ones from Ikea and got these from Amazon. I think they're from Amazon. Anyway, I like for this to be like organized. And so all of the bins have organization. And the only one that doesn't is the first door up here. And that door just houses some like makeup overflow. So like stuff that I get in PR that I think I want to keep, I'll unbox. This one, I like it, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. But I think my sister's going to have it. So I'll hold on to it and let her have it. If not, I just literally put all of my makeup or just general stuff in PR. Um, I'll blast it to my friends and say if they want it. If not, I'll donate it to Goodwill. 
All right, getting to the pieces that people ask me about all the time, and that is my closet system. It is trash. I would not recommend it. Do not waste your money. I'm not even going to link it. I got it from Wayfair because at the time when we moved in, Ikea had everything on back order. And I heard that it was like hell try to put to put the Ikea pack system together. And I was like, no, nope, I ain't got time for all them parts. Went to Wayfair, got this three-piece system. And it literally, like I kid you guys not, this was in 2019. I had never had so many arguments <laughs> with my husband in the five days it took us to put this shit together in our whole, how long have we been married? Not Almost nine years of marriage. Never. It was hell. Do not get, I'm not even going to link it. As a matter of fact, I think it's discontinued because I went on a ramp. I, I have never written a review before, especially when it comes to furniture. I wrote a slamming review because it was trash. Anyway, now that we have it together, it's fine, but pieces were missing, pieces came broken, pieces came bent. We were all in Home Depot trying to find substitutes. Thank you for, I want to say his name was, I don't even remember his name at Home Depot, like a godsend. If it wasn't for him, none of this would be together because either the pieces were broken, bent, or missing. But now we have this lovely set. <laughs> so this is a three-piece set that I got. One of the things that I do like is, as with most systems, you can change this out. So in the summertime, if I want to make all this like hanging, I can take out the shelves here, put in the rod, and then be able to have like hanging systems. Same thing here if I wanted to make this all shelving. I have all the shelves to do that with. So I do like the versatility that this thing provides. And once we got it together, I loved it. But it was a common occurrence that I also saw in the reviews that the pieces that you needed were not there. Um, so like I said, it was either missing, broken, or bent. So um, once you put it all together, it's immaculate, but just don't waste your money. So over here on this, over here on this side, I have two rods here hanging together and if you guys can't tell i like to coordinate by color and then under here i just have some um what are these called pouch pouch bags because i realized that i have more bags than i anticipated i've got some clutches over here most of these are clutches that i got like um out of the country so i really don't like to use them unless it's a special occasion so like this one i got from greece and so i i don't know i don't like to to use it a lot. I don't want to get a lot of wear out of it because I don't want to like mess it up. Um, this one that I'm obsessed over that I think I literally only wear once. I got from Puerto Rico. You see that Sean? It's so pretty. I literally, not once a month, once a year. Well, maybe, maybe twice a year. That's cute. Anyway, so I got, that's where these are over here. And then there's just a couple of mules that I have bought in the last couple of months that I haven't had anywhere to put. So these black with the fur, and then these were actually a um, birthday gift from my girlfriend, the red ones with the fur. So anyway, that's where those are sitting because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Over here, once again, guys, I'm so, I apologize for the light. I really like to record facing that because the window is amazing. So I'm not facing that. So if the lighting is off, once again, I really apologize. So over here in the middle, I get time and time again where this painting came from this painting came from cuba havana cuba um i went down there for the first time in 2017 it was this artist that stopped me um and asked me if he could take my picture he took my picture and then two years later when me and my sister went um and we're just it was like this little marketplace or whatever and so we're just like walking around i knew i wanted to get a piece of art and he saw me from a distance he was like that's you that's you and i was like okay okay he's like mira 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 and so i followed him and this isn't exactly me but let me explain something to you my hair was this exact same thing and i remember these bright gold earrings so it's not exactly me but he definitely painted the picture off of me because he still had my picture in his phone from 2017 and he had like also, i think it must be like a thing because his whole workshop was just full of this love like i'm talking about black women painted so immaculate and he says that he paints from pictures and he gets the pictures from like different tourists that visits the area 
and how he still remembers me two years later I don't know but I'm forever grateful and he gave me a steal on this like it I think I want to say he gave it to me for like half off William was like it should be free I was like William that's rude <laughs> so he gave it to me for like half off so I'm obsessed with this painting I will I will carry this around like the Einstein picture that we have in our living room love this anyway I'm gonna get off that this is just the main landing area that I like to have so I've got all of my perfumes over here I like to keep fresh flowers I don't know if you guys can tell but there's always a candle burning in here and then these are just some crystal rocks that I like to keep around. And here we have our sunglasses collection. I got these from Amazon. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did have like a clear. So my collection wasn't like a these clear things that like were double sided. But when I decided to go thinner with this shelf, I knew I needed something thinner. So I just measured and made sure that this um, would fit. And so it fits just nicely and then the only other thing is this Lancome perfume it doesn't stand up so it just sits right here on the first one and then I just made this shelves so I just have uh oh you guys can't see it shelves with boots and pants and jeans and jeans and boots over here much more the same thing I have some of the sneakers that I actually wear I'm trying to get into like wearing sneakers more I realize that there's an art to wearing sneakers you can't just like put sneakers on with an outfit and think it's gonna work it does not work like that like the same way that i like take time and passion into putting mules i have to do the same thing with sneakers so i'm getting there so got some sneaker collection and it goes all the way over there and then those are just two newer pair of boots um and then this last one is just basically clothing i created a little shelf down here to house some more of my mules and then just another clothing down here this has blazers and then some pants I don't really want to fold because I don't want them to get wrinkled all right over here this one I actually can recommend I got it from overstock and I got these three when I first started and it wasn't till because I normally I didn't have this <laughs> as many clothes when we moved into the house because we came from an apartment so we went from house to apartment back to house and so when we moved from house to apartment it was a big downside so we went from like 2800 square feet to like 12 so a lot of shit sorry a lot of stuff had to go and so i got rid of a lot of stuff so i was really i probably had the best capsule wardrobe when i was in the apartment because i was having to make it work with the small amount of space and so when we moved into the house i just got these three pieces because that was more than enough space but how many of you know that with more space, you get more stuff? <laughs> so I needed more stuff. So I got this set from Oversock. And I actually like this one because this also works the same way. So there's a shelf. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a shelf down here that I can literally, using these things right there, put that shelf anywhere. And that also has a closet rod. So if I want to have like two um like a like over here like a closet and then a closet i can do that for right now that's just housing some sweatshirts and then i've got a couple of basically converses on that on that shelf and then up here is where i'm housing all of my um dresses and then all of my cardigans that will probably remain probably for the life because i used to not have that many dresses so i didn't need space for them and then with time you start buying stuff and now I have a bunch of dresses and so now I need a space for it. So before all of the dresses were just in the closet because maybe I had five dresses, maybe. I just wasn't a dresses girl, I wasn't a skirts girl. It was jeans in the top or pants in the top. And my fashion or my style has slowly evolved. Not even like different kinds of dresses, but I'm starting to be more comfortable wearing dresses. It just wasn't something that I grew up in. Um, dresses to us growing up was like a special occasion so you wore dresses for easter or or i don't know to get pictures done <laughs> um but it wasn't something that i just wear wore all the time so i'm slowly starting to evolve and to realize that, that dresses can also be comfortable anyway so that is what we have over here for all of our clothing all right let's get to the last three pieces all right back where the sun's shining it's better um these two which i get asked about most of the time because this is where you guys see me do all the real stuff so um let's just start here this is a shelf i got from amazon one two three four five it's five tier i love it it was super simple to put it together i put it together 
Um, so it's super easy, super simple to put together. I like that it has like the gold etching here, but then it has like the white shells. And as you can tell, it literally just like houses my um, shoes and my purse collection. I like to organize or I like to like color coordinate. So that's why you can see like this black, this blue goes with the black. You have the gray, you have the brown, um, the green, and then the blue and then the color. I used to work at a retail store um, in college and I used to love to do the window. Like I used to be like obsessed. So, like every time like they would come out with a different um, like season, I was like, oh, can I do the window? I just, I like to do that kind of stuff. And so this is brings me back to a little nostalgia of my Charlotte Roos days. Um, and so when I got, this one came first. So this one, I got this one first because I realized that I needed something extra to put my bags and shoes because I was running out of space. So I got this one first, um, also from Amazon, one, two, three. It's also a five tier gold with the white. And then that's also housing like boots. And these are all like the shades of brown, reds, and then brown. So that one I got first and I realized that I needed more space. <laughs> um, and so when I tried to go back on to Amazon to get this exact same one, cause I really wanted it to be the same thing. Um, they didn't have this one anymore. It was, um, basically when I went back to click back on the vendor, click back on the order, it says unavailable or discontinued or something like that. And I was really upset because I really wanted to have the exact same thing. I like, I like matching sets and I was like, all right, forget it. So then I got this one. And to be honest, I probably would favor this one over this one, just because this one has more Space. Um, and this one's a little bit so like this one is this big <laughs> and then this one is this big so it's a little bit it's a little bit longer so I can put more space on it um, I had thought about getting two of these and trashing or putting that one in Goodwill and my husband was like you will not what you're not going to do is waste money because you like things to be aesthetically pleasing. No. So I listened and it actually doesn't <laughs> work that bad. Um, and then last but not least, we have this wardrobe thing that I want to say I got from Target. If not, it came from Amazon. Um, and so right now it's just housing. You guys know I like to pre-plan or pre-pick my outfits. I also pre-pick pre -pick any jackets that's the other thing so the one things that i don't have in here are all of my jackets because there's there's as you guys can tell i took you around the whole space i even opened my closet for you or the lack thereof now you see that closet that's basically the closets in almost every room and you know why i turned into <laughs> this into a closet so the only other thing is my jackets my jackets just won't fit in here there's a, a longer closet downstairs um that's basically like the length of the room that me and my husband house our closets because they just won't fit anywhere else so i'll come up and i'll just bring a couple jackets up here and then they'll just sit on this or when i need to like shoot or if me and husband are planning a shoot for the weekend i'll go ahead and plan my outfits out and i'll have it sitting up here this is just a purse that i'm carrying for the week you guys know i pick a new purse every week and then down here is just a shelf that normally will house whatever accessories I plan to shoot with right now that just has my tail for a bag. So I think that's it. I took you around every nook, crack, and crevice of the coffers. All right, so guys, I hope you have enjoyed that. Like I said, this was the first time where I felt like I took you through every nook and cranny in detail of my clothes. Um, and I just felt like it was about time because I'm getting a lot of questions, especially on Instagram as I'm posting it, where this came from, where this came from. So this is like a nice video that I can use to like house everything. So when people ask the questions, I can just like bring them here instead of having to like answer all 99 plus <laughs> DMs responding to that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this very informative video. Like I said, I am going to link absolutely everything except for this trash closet system. <laughs> um, and it'll be in the description box what else um oh random question i always get what do you use to hang your um hats with they're thick wood tacks i'll link them below i get them from 
target um yeah i think that's it guys if you have made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me thank you guys for joining me while you're here go ahead and like comment and subscribe do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do and i'm gonna catch you guys next sunday later